Tokyo Game Show 2022 is still going on, but several updates and announcements have already happened over the course of the last few days. Here we'll cover some of the biggest announcements that you need to know about. Like a Dragon 8. Ryugago Toku Studio had several announcements during its dedicated summit, including Like a Dragon 8, the sequel to Yakuza Like a Dragon. It's out in 2024 for PS4, PS5, Xbox Series, Xbox One, and PC, Windows, and Steam. The new trailer confirms the return of Ichiban Kasuga and Kazama Kiru. Like a Dragon 8 is a turn-based RPG like its predecessor and once again focuses heavily on the story. The scale is, quote, very big, and it's the largest game in the series. As for Kiru's new hairstyle, there are many reasons for the change, but the development team can't say for now. One thing is for sure, Kasuga and Kiru are working together, but you'll still team up with various friends and colleagues. The theme is the man with the past that is back, and the man with the future ahead. This represents Kiru and Kasuga, respectively. Several voice lines have been recorded, and the process is still ongoing. Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. If the announcements of Like a Dragon Ishin and Like a Dragon 8 weren't enough, Ryugagotoku Studio also revealed Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. It's a side story that focuses on Kiru between Yakuza 6 The Song of Life and Like a Dragon, along with showcasing his story between the latter and Like a Dragon 8. Following Yakuza 6's conclusion, Kiru has seemingly taken up a lifestyle as a monk named Joryu. It's not long before the Dragon of Dojima returns to action for some manual labor. Unlike Like a Dragon, this is an action-adventure game, though it's not confirmed whether the combat will be akin to Yakuza 6. In terms of size, it's a little bit bigger than Lost Judgment, the Kaito Files, and roughly half the size of a regular title in terms of volume and story. Nevertheless, it's considered very, very important in the grand scheme. There's a lot that can't be said right now, but you'll still have side quests to complete and a town to hang out in. Overall, the title will help those who started the series with Yakuza Like a Dragon to learn more about Kiru. It also provides his full story heading into Like a Dragon 8. Like a Dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name, is out in 2023 for Xbox One, Xbox Series, PS4, 5, and PC, Windows, and Steam. Sonic Frontier's new trailer. Sega has dropped a brand new trailer for Sonic Frontiers, and if the thumbnail didn't give it away, Super Sonic is confirmed. Like previous games, players can collect the seven Chaos Emeralds and harness their power to transform. Of course, there's even more to glean, like new enemies. One of these hangs out in the air and disperses various objects. Using the homing attack, Sonic can gradually make his way up to the enemy and attack them. Another requires grinding on rails around the foe to light them up and presumably defeat it. But the most imposing is a titan-like foe, which Sonic must traverse to reach the Chaos Emerald at the top. Upon transforming, Super Sonic can fly, but how this translates to open-world exploration remains to be seen. Sonic Frontiers is out on November 8th for Xbox One, Xbox Series, PS4, 5, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Pre-orders get the Adventurer's Treasure Box, which includes skill points, blue seeds of defense, and red seeds of power, which should provide some extra defense and attack from the outset. Forspoken New Trailer Various previews of Forspoken dropped recently discussing the spells and exploration, but the latest trailer is focused more on the story. It also provides a look at the Japanese voice acting. Forspoken is the story of Frey Holland, a New Yorker who finds herself transported to Athia. Guided by a talking bracelet named Cuff and wielding magic, Frey is viewed as a savior to battle the corrupt Tantas. The trailer shines a light on her hesitation, whether it's going up against Tantas Sila, the strongest of the bunch, or watching the break claim the lives of innocent people. It's a better look at the title, if grimmer, which hasn't gone too deep into the story since its reveal. Kojima Productions' next game teaser. Though it hasn't had any announcements for Tokyo Game Show 2022, Kojima Productions has seemingly begun teasing its next title. In the TGS 2022 VR tour, a Reddit user spotted a module for Ludens, the studio's mascot. Right past him is an image of an unknown woman with the words, Who am I? Interacting with the picture takes fans to this website, which contains the same image. There's a mysterious logo at the bottom, but not much else. Whether this is for Overdose, Kojima's rumored horror title that stars Margaret Qualley, or Death Stranding 2, which actor Norman Reedus has confirmed on more than one occasion, remains to be seen. It may even be a VR title for all we know. 
The VR tour is worth checking out for Death Stranding fans, since it features a recreation of Sam's room, complete with the shower, table, and more. Wo Long, Fallen Dynasty new footage. During Xbox's Tokyo Game Show 2022 stream, Koei Tecmo and Team Ninja unveiled a new trailer for Wo Long, Fallen Dynasty. It offered some new gameplay footage, from the combat to the character creator. The character creator will be familiar to fans of Neo 2, with options to customize hair, figure, skin color, and so on, with various presets also available. Some new enemies are showcased along with spells that the players can wield, from attacking with earth spikes and lightning to shooting poison. Of course, like the Neo series, it's not an easy game to play, but the development team promises to make it rewarding. Wolong Fallen Dynasty is out early 2023 for Xbox One, Xbox Series, PS4, 5, and PC. Overwatch 2 – Kiriko Officially Revealed The newest hero to join Overwatch 2's roster before it launches next month is Kiriko. As a support hero, she is capable of healing but has several different tricks up her sleeves. As revealed on the official Overwatch Twitter, Kiriko can channel a burst of healing with talismans that seek out allies. She can also render allies invulnerable for a short time and cleanse them of most negative effects, and teleport to them, even through walls. Her kunai deal increased critical damage, and she can climb up walls. Kiriko's ultimate is Katsune Rush, which summons a fox spirit that moves forward, increasing the attack speed and movement of allies while reducing their cooldowns. Overall, she sounds more like a DPS or support hybrid rather than a pure healer. Exo Primal Story Trailer Exo Primal might not be the new Dino Crisis game that many have been wanting for years, but with each new showing, Capcom's upcoming co op shooter has been looking more and more promising. At TGS 2022, the Japanese company showed off a new trailer for the game, focusing on its story characters, and more. Exo Primal will see dinosaurs pouring through interdimensional distortions all across the planet, a threat that is being dealt with through the use of powerful suits called exosuits. Though using them comes at a cost, with the Leviathan AI seemingly stopping at nothing to make them more efficient in their task. The trailer goes over the game's central conflict and the dangers of using these suits while showing various central characters and giving us glimpses of some of the many exosuits we'll be using to fight back against dino hordes, some of which, like the Nimbus, Skywave, Murasame, and Krieger, have been shown off before. Wanted Dead Gameplay Trailer with its development team comprising of talent that previously worked on Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive, Solil and 110 Industries' upcoming action title, Wanted Dead, has turned more than a few heads since its announcement last year. Of course, the game itself has also consistently looked promising every time we've seen more of it, and that continues to be the case in its newest trailer. Showcased at TGS 2022, Wanted Dead's latest trailer showcases more of the game's slick and fast-paced combat, which will see players mixing third-person shooting with up-close melee combat using a katana. The trailer also shows glimpses of mini-games, live-action and anime-style cutscenes, plenty of in-game locations, various enemy types and weapons, and much more. Technically speaking, it's still looking a little rough around the edges, but even so, this continues to look like a game that fans of action titles will want to keep an eye on. Resident Evil Village Winter's Expansion New Trailer If you enjoyed Resident Evil Village, you have quite a bit to look forward to in the coming weeks and months. Kicking things off will be the Winter's Expansion, which was announced earlier this year and is due out next month. Ahead of its launch, Capcom showcased more of what it'll add to the survival horror shooter in a TGS presentation. Winters' expansion is set to add three major things to the base game. For starters, the entire base game will now be playable in third person, with completely new animations added for the new perspective while retaining the base experience's mechanics. Then there's the Mercenaries mode, which will add new stages and characters, including the likes of Heisenberg and Lady Dimitrescu, all with their own unique abilities. Finally, there's Shadows of Rose, a new story episode set 16 years after the events of the base game, which will see you playing as Rose as she heads into the mind of the Mega Mycete. New gameplay footage showcases some of Rose's abilities, the enemies you will encounter, and more. Street Fighter VI New Details Capcom's TGS 2022 presentation was surprisingly packed, featuring updates on Resident Evil Village, Monster Hunter Rise, and more, but the game that dominated the showcase was, unsurprisingly, Street Fighter VI. 
In addition to announcing a closed beta for the highly anticipated fighting title, Capcom also revealed a bunch of new details on it. For starters, several new characters have joined the game's roster of playable characters. There's Dollism, who has plenty of reach and literally plays with fire, E Honda, who will come at his foes with strong charged attacks, Blanca, who can use Blanca Chandal as a projectile to electrocute opponents, and of course, fan favorite and series staple Ken, who has several variations of the Jinrai kick in his arsenal, along with the Dragon Lash kick for sharper attacks. New details have also been revealed on the single player story mode, World Tour. Controlling your custom avatar, you'll visit multiple locations in search of master fighters to learn new skills and techniques from, with Luke, Blanca, Chun-Li, Dalism, and more appearing as coaches to seek out. Players can also head to shops to purchase different outfits that will not only change how you look, but also impact your attributes. The moves you learn from masters, including the likes of Spinning Bird Kick, Hadouken, and more, can also be used to explore environments. Of course, you'll also be able to take on NPCs in duels and several variations of battles, including 1v1 fights, 1 versus many battles, and more. Meanwhile, several new details on the game's online side of things, which will come in the form of a battle hub, have also been detailed. Capcom describes the experience as akin to going to an arcade and sitting down for a battle. Players can expect tournaments, poses, and emotes for use in the photo spot, items to buy in the shop, and more. You can also head to the Game Center to play older games like Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, the Ultimate Championship, as well as other surprises that Capcom isn't ready to spill the beans on just yet. Additionally, Capcom has also unveiled the new Extreme Battle Mode, which will be part of Fighting Ground. Extreme Battle will allow players to participate in battles with custom rules and gimmicks aplenty, from a fight with bombs bouncing around to one where the first player to knock down an opponent five times wins. Fighting Ground will have several other modes that Capcom says will be unveiled later. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remaster Konami has announced Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remasters at the Tokyo Game Show 2022. As a bundle of HD remasters of Suikoden 1 and 2, it will release in 2023 for PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC via Steam. Suikoden 1 focuses on a hero turned tyrant and the Liberation Army that rises to challenge them. It features the 108 stars of Destiny with the Poltergeist and 107 additional playable characters. Suikoden 2 is about the protagonist and Jawi, members of the Unicorn Youth Brigade. An agreement is signed between the Highland Kingdom and city-states of Jowstown, but it's not long before war starts again. Along with HD background illustrations, the pixel art animation has received updates. New environmental sounds, HD battle sound effects, autosave, a conversation log, and battle fast-forward has also been added. Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes Rabbit and Bear Studios have published a post on the official Xbox news page providing detailed character profiles for its upcoming RPG, Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes. Set to be just part one of the character profiles, the post provides profiles of Noah, Seen, Marisa, Leon, and Gar. Noah is the protagonist of Euden Chronicle 100 Heroes. Described in the profile as the leap-before-you-look type, Noah joins a joint expedition by the League of Nations and, during a mission, finds an ancient rune lens, which is set to spark a war between the League of the Empire. Sign, the second-born son to a powerful imperial family, is exceptionally gifted in academia. He is the strategist of the group, but his clear mind is often confused with a cold heart. Sign is bothered by the meaning of fighting after the death of his brother during a border rebellion. Marissa is a member of the Guardians, a clan that hallows and protects the forest. She was raised in the ways of the Guardians and their traditions. Marissa is still forward-thinking and has a fondness for new things, especially if they're cute. Marissa is quite sought after by both the Empire as well as the protagonist. As the Guardians have figured out a unique way of using rune lenses, Leon ran from her home when the Empire invaded League Lands and ends up meeting the protagonist in a major town. Born in a dojo, Leon is adept at melee combat, found to be throwing out roundhouse kicks before she learned how to properly walk. Gar is a veteran bestman warrior, hailing from a clan of mercenaries. Gar has lived most of his life in conflict, Gar decides to join the war when it breaks out because of his vast experience and brutality. That's all for now. If you enjoy what you saw, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. We upload brand new videos every single day. After subscribing, don't forget to enable all notifications by clicking the bell icon.
Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Bolt.